I just found a cool code pen snippet online, which is a hamburger menu that's opening and closing. And I thought it would be a cool time to introduce the new attribute that we have, which is the menu attribute, and to show you how I use it. So I'm going to generate this into an Elementor dynamic editable widget using the widget creator by unlimited elements. Hopping into WordPress, gonna click add widget, give that a title, click tab, the name is filled in automatically, and I'm gonna click add widget. Double click to edit the widget that you've just added. You can give it a name, uh, sorry, an icon if you want. So I'm gonna give this, this hamburger icon. And in the HTML, we're going to copy and paste our HTML. Same thing we're going to do with CSS. And the next thing what we're going to do is we're going to replace this UL LI, which is a list, into a WordPress menu that's coming from our uh, appearance menus from the WordPress itself, from the WordPress admin itself, and it will be dynamic instead of a static list. To do that, I'm going into attributes, add attribute, and in the attribute type, I'm going to select menu. Gonna give it a title, click tab, the name is filled in automatically. If you want, you can give it a class or HTML before and after, and click Add Attribute. Inside of the HTML, I'm just going to replace this whole static ULLI to the WordPress menu attribute that we've just added. Click on that, it's added, and now we can test this out to see if it's working. I'm going to add a new page, and of course I'm going to edit that page inside of Elementor. And when Elementor loads, I'm going to search in the widget pane for my menu. So we called it full screen navigation menu. I'm going to drag that inside. And here's our hamburger. I'm going to click on it. And I see it's working. Perfect. Let's, I think now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just place this on the top right of my website. Now to do that, I'm going to choose Advanced, Positioning, Width. I'm going to select Inline Auto, so it's not full width anymore. And in Position, I'm going to choose Fixed. So now, even if someone scrolls down or up, uh, he won't have a problem. And I'm going to snap this to the right and maybe 20 pixels from the right and 20 pixels from the top. Click Publish to save. And I'm going into Preview. Over here in Preview, here we go. We got our cool menu effect and that didn't take too much time. Very, very simple. And now you can achieve any design menu you want and design any menu you want using the widget creator by unlimited elements.